Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising weekly tower reading August 26th to uh, September 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tower cards, and we are going to jump right into it. Man, I love these, these new cards. They just they shuffle so nicely. All right. So uh, the first one, which stands for the topic of uh, your Aquarius this week, is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. That is going to be the Five of Pentacles. Then we do have the positive aspect of the week. That is going to be the Seven of Swords. And then the last one, it will be the uh, guidance the Tarot is offering to your Aquarius. Uh, that will be the Ace of Swords. I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's, it's going to be a week of um, some sort of a, a wake-up call, but not exactly. Okay, it's more like a um, a very a, a, an experienced person. Uh, it's either opening your eyes or it's, it, it's knocking sense into your brain and it's telling you, what the hell are you doing, son or a daughter or whatever. Okay, because uh, it looks like that you will have to tackle many problems throughout this week. Problems that maybe you have um, neglected or didn't wanted to attend up until that week. And uh, it's the situation is in such a state, you know, that you one way or another at the end of the day need to face the truth. All right. Need to face the reality. And um, this person will going to help you do it. So um, in a very preservative um, preservative matter it's like to preserve yourself as best as you can or as much as you can just as best but as much as you can because this person's best is better than your best okay and that's why they are coming here as a uh, pretty significant source of help but before we get into all that let's run the cards one more time and scrutinize the reading and and then scrutinize the reading you know so the Queen of Pentacles, it is the topic of the week, followed by the Five of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. Then we do have the Seven of Swords, which represents the uh, the uh, positive aspect in the last one. It's going to be the Ace of Pentacles, which stands for the guidance. <clears throat> All right. So Queen of Pentacles, um, quite self-absorbed person. And it's self-absorbed for reason being is that this person knows nobody anything, okay? Whatever that person is standing on as the achievements, wealth, um, real estate properties and these kind of stuff, that person gets to there by, their se by themselves, all right? They do not rely on anybody. They made, uh, I cannot say the right decisions, all right? But let's say that they had the guts to carry on and fight with many things against the odds do the tough calls, okay? And this week, they're gonna um, stuck into your sense that you gotta do the tough call. One, one way or another, you, you, you have to do it, okay? 
And uh, additionally to that, with the Queen of Pentacles, it does look like the two together are going to also work on a... Um, some unfound potentials that you do have, you know, some situations that you can uh, that you can perform better, or a uh, situations that you de that you ain't taking advantage of, and etc. etc. Which is going to make your life much much more easier, to be honest. And it you are to feel like, how can I say, um, you are to feel like not everything is lost toward this uh, specific endeavor that you are struggling. Uh, the accompanied card here, it is the Queen of Wands, and that is actually a very favorable um, combo for you, Aquarius. We do have a passive neutrals here. So while the Queen, uh, this person who is marked by the Queen of Pentacles, it's uh, completely aware of how much you can achieve on your own, you know, and it is completely aware as well of how much you worth and for that reason by the way they're coming into your life and stepping out right now it is because they see you um settling for less than what you worth and sometimes when such person comes around they are rather very aggressive they makes you feel bad so you can kind of improve yourself and etc etc but not with this case it does look like that uh, this queen of pentacles has that approach of a uh, well, in our country, we, we, we call them uh, pedagogues, you know, people who know how to speak, people who know how to, how to guide, okay, without making you feel worthless, without making you feel like, you know, you wasted your time, and etc, etc. It's, it's like a mentor that this uh, Queen of Pentacles is going to appear for you. And like I said, together... <clears throat> you are to maximize completely, you know, your current assets. The challenge, it is the Five of Pentacles. So, uh, it's pretty obvious with the Five of Pentacles, the challenge could be first money, okay? That is the pretty obvious things thing. But with the Five of Pentacles also, if it is not money, then this card points to sense of insecurity due to many um, predicaments, that one is facing, not just only one problem, but many problems that are, for example, affecting your marriage or relationship, that are affecting your career, and etc., etc. And it's just when, when one has a lot of problems to tackle with, one doesn't know where to start from. Oh, well, that's why the Queen of Pentacles comes around to help you with identifying, you know, the uh, most urgent, you know, issues that you need to attend to and uh, structure, you know, what the procedure moving forward of uh, resolving the issues is going to be. And on top of that, it's going to help you with it physically, I mean. The accompanied card is going to be the Four of Pentacles. And we definitely are talking about insecurity about what future holds for you, you know, should you uh, be unable to tackle with all these problems. It's no different than panicking, you know. So let's say you are having a good job, okay, and up until this moment, uh, you have performed very well, everything went smooth, but suddenly, you know, crisis hit, do have a lot of problems, and you're panicking. It's because this is the first time you're facing so much of a predicament, you know, you don't know where to start from. And realizing what is in stake in this case, your job, you know, you may, many people are going to be petrified, all right, unable to make a move, unable to make a decision. And that's why, you know, if that's your job, Queen of Pentacles could be your, um, your boss seeing in general how valuable asset you are, but it's just the situation you're not used to. And for that reason, they're willing to give you a hand, you know, to, to help you get through it and etc. etc. So even though the week may seem with uh, a lot of tantrums in the sense of that, you know, you may feel that you are losing grasp upon your marriage, for example, or you're losing grasp upon your career and etc. etc. Things aren't lost, guys. It's just they're just challenging. OK, and uh, you don't have to face them alone. That is also pointed here with the five of pentacles. As you can see, two people are struggling in the winter, all right, to find shelter. You don't have to be alone in this, not at all. As a matter of fact, you should not be alone in this, not at all. Uh, the next one, it is the positive aspect of the weekend. That is going to be the seven of uh, 
the Seven of Swords. So we said about the tough calls at the start, and it is what the Seven of Swords here resorts to. At the end of the day, um, you know, how you should proceed forward with, with this endeavor that you're struggling with, it is entirely up to your call, and you have to resort to your personal, I would say, self-righteousness and strong backbone, should you have one, and you're gonna have one. So the Seven of Wands here, the Seven of Swords, excuse me, here, does represent your strong spine, strong backbone, and, uh, you know, the determination to do the best you could, um, even if that means that you have to storm that situation through. But also, it is a, a testament that you are going to get your rewards. You're going to get exactly what you have earned. As you can see here in the picture, this person is leaving the camp with five swords, leave, which belongs to him, leaving two that does not belong to him behind his back meaning he isn't up to steal anything, okay? I mean, it's in this case, in a positive position, the person in the picture takes exactly what he deserves, right? And in the same time, it's, uh, its actions are working entirely in favor of his own agenda. So your whatever actions you do throughout the week, with the cooperation of the Queen of Pentacles, will work exactly in your favor, or entirely, I would say, in your favor. The accompanied card, it is the Ace of Wands, a very um, impulsive, or rather like explosive uh, combination. We do have active friends here. So there will be a lot of creative chaos, throughout which creative chaos you are to scope a lot of uh, gaining for enterprises, really, gaining for options available that you can take advantage of and also uh, with the cooperation of the Queen of Pentacles you are to find new talents for yourself. You are going to be amazed how good you are in a specific thing that you haven't tried up until this moment. But now the, the, the fortune itself urges you to do it. In our country we do have a specific word for that but I don't know, I don't know it in English, you know. It's like when you are hoping that it's going to resolve on its own accord or that someone is going to come around and do it for you that never happens so at the end of the day you have to try it on your own and, and suddenly you find out that you can do it you know no different than back in the days when i had a computer windows 98 i was completely uneducated in regards to computers and i have that and i had that uh, neighbor of mine who had the computer for a long time and you could um, install Windows 98. So every time something went wrong with my computer, I resorted to that, to that friend to come around and uh, install the Windows. But one day that friend went to a vacation and it wasn't there for a whole week. And at the very first day when they departed, my Windows broke. So I had a choice, either to wait for a week or to do it myself. Well, I did it myself. And I find out it isn't a rocket science, right? So it's the same thing here. And then the last one, it is the uh, guidance that Tara is offering to your queries. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. So guidance-wise, it's uh, basically this cooperation with the Queen of Pentacles is going to uh, make you rich. Uh, make you rich in a sense, rich uh, from, a, a sense, from a standpoint of options available, from a standpoint of money as well, from a standpoint of connections. Very, very important. Because these two cards usually, especially when it falls in such a, uh, in a, such a follow-up, definitely speaks about connection which are going to prove very valuable moving forward, you know, when you need something decisive to be done that you can resort to those connections, you know, and have the right people for the right job or for the right favors, I would say that way. Not to mention that the whole cooperation with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles as a guidance here is going to present you with a lot of content, a lot of uh, yeah, satisfaction seeing how things are happening when you are working together and etc, etc. Successful business maneuvers, this is what we do have here, and very, very good friendships and relationships. The accompanied card, it is the... Um, King of Wands, and with these two cards, uh, which formation is the passive neutrals that we do, uh, that we are um, we are having? It's it's a bit of a um, diluted interpretation in a sense of that um, I don't know how to really put it into words. So uh, well, basically, it is that not every time you know being very aggressive and and and. and 
acting straight away gives results. Sometimes it is better to stretch out your performance in time, you know, having having a longer time to work with something while you are waiting for a new thing to pop up. It, it is like this with, uh, with the Ace of Pentacles and with the King of Wands. Additionally to that, this uh, particular combo, it does point to a, a longevity of one's endeavor. So the longevity of the cooperation between you and the Queen of Pentacles is not going to be a short lasting one. It may not be, it will have its ups and downs. Also, it's a testament of these cards, you know, it will be sometimes annoying, sometimes exhilarating and etc, etc. But at the end of the day, it will, things are going to happen much, much more easier than if you are working um, separately or independently from one another. So that being said, uh, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 26th to September 1st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.